from Gorilla Carts here. I'm just going to run through um, some of the electric scooters and sort of the differences in the way in which they work okay. All scooters are different, all different specifications and, and all different sort of ways that which they're put together, the way they're, they're assembled and the way they function also. Um, the first one I'm going to do here is probably our most popular one, um, is this uh, Novi electric scooter here as well. Now, the assembly is pretty simple. Um, in the packaging, you will get the head unit itself here, okay, and the handlebars and all will be separate. So handlebars just need thread on. Um, the headset just needs the uh, communication wire connected. So the wee wire inside here, uh, you'll pull it out. There's a wee base unit and you connect this head unit together. And you simply put this head unit in and attach the four screws in here and at the other side, the four screws here. Now, basically, that is all the assembly there is to the electric scooter, okay? And because the scooter is so new, we had, had a few uh, questions on about um, getting it sort of locked in. Um, because it is so new, it is very tight, okay? The, the locking mechanism is very tight. But, as I say, don't be afraid. Um, because it is new, um, when it is down, you just unlock it, okay? And because it's so new in here, um, the way to lock it is sort of just put your foot to the back, okay? And then just give it a good shunt in like that, okay? So um, that's the way to lock it in, all right? So I'll just do that again, just uh, from, from a distance. So just put your foot to the back and just give it a good lock in like that there and make sure it is fully home and locked in position there. Now, as I say, we've had a few uh, people asking then, because it's so tight, how they actually get it unlocked again. Um, you just need to give yourself a wee bit of extra lever leverage. So a flathead screwdriver, just in here and just proceed to, just to lever that out like that, all right? So that'll just make that a wee bit easier for you. But over time, that wee locking mechanism will loosen up and you won't need to go sort of with a, a flathead screwdriver to unloosen that there really. But that there's just a wee quick uh, run through on that one. As I say, all electric scooters are different in the way in which they work. Um, some scooters need scooted up to three miles an hour before they actually start to kick in the motor, okay? So, um, and some other scooters will start from a cold start. So when you put the accelerator down, the motor will start to go automatically, okay? But other scooters like this one, and particularly this one, will be scooted up to three miles an hour and then the throttle put down, okay? And then the motor will kick in. Now, we've had a few people um, asking that they have the thumb throttle down and start to scoot to three miles an hour. That'll not work. You have to get up to three miles an hour first and then engage the throttle for the motor to kick in. It's just a safety feature because if you have your finger on the throttle and then start to scoot, uh, scoot the scooter, it'll not engage the motor at all. That there's just to protect the motor and to protect the user so they don't take off all of a sudden, really. So, just to reiterate that again, um, you have to scoot up some scooters to three miles an hour and then engage the throttle, okay? So, that is just one of the common problems that we have there, just uh, people don't think that the scooter's working because of that. Um, so, just make sure that you're up to speed and then engage the throttle, really. Um, and that there's just the real main differences. Um, and that's sort of everything. Mm -hmm.